And we are joined today with Ambassador Hatem Sheikh Nosti, the Assistant Foreign Minister for European Affairs. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, if we can ask you, um, what are the most recent points, uh, what are the, how do you evaluate, let's say, um, the, the international reactions to the recent attacks uh, in northern China, the international uh, view? Well, uh, we, we have received a lot of uh, sympathy. Um, statements. Any more than the other? Uh, well, yes. We, 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 we had... Uh, we would have liked to have more uh, unequivocal uh, condemnation of terrorism in many cases. Yes. In some of the statements we saw some fudging, uh, which is not the best attitude. But we appreciate all the, the, the statements of support for Egypt. And uh, But what we anticipate well, after having received all of that is action. Uh, so to follow uh, words with deeds is, uh, is something that would ensure that we could really stand up to this, uh, yeah. this, uh, this problem. Yes, Mr. Ambassador, if we turn to another topic, which is uh, Libya, another Arab Spring country. So how do you see the current situation right now in Libya and the Egyptian diplomatic stance regarding the Libyans? Uh, Libya is very important to Egypt, as, as, as is well known. Uh, we support legitimacy in Libya. Uh, I think the, the elections in Libya for two times have produced uh, a, a majority that is uh, not uh, ideological. Uh, the problem in Libya is that uh, some uh, parties who have not uh, had the support they, they, they anticipated uh, in the elections chose to uh, use uh, force to uh, ensure that they have a place on the uh, Libyan uh, landscape. And of course, we are against that. Uh, there are some attempts uh, from different countries to get uh, uh, these uh, uh, parties that, out that are you know, uh, you know, against the legitimacy to get them in the fold. Yes. And some of them were elected but chose not to join uh, the, the parliament uh, in session in uh, Tobruk. So all these, while these attempts are going on, uh, the neighbor, the neighborhood countries, this effort by the neighborhood countries, uh, Egypt, uh, Sudan, uh, 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 Algeria, Tunisia, all of these countries are coming together, trying to uh, streamline the efforts because the, the, the efforts have been so multiple that uh, there was some generality in uh, in treating these uh, these. Uh, challenges in Libya. Yes. We hope to streamline these efforts and Egypt is playing a, a major role in doing that. Just the other day in Egypt we had a meeting of uh, Libyan tribes from all regions of Libya. This is a good sign because of course uh, the tribal aspect in Libya is a very, very uh, omnipresent uh, uh, existent in the Libyan society. And uh, so things are going uh, in the right direction I think but it's still a long way to go. Ambassador, since we have you with us today joining us, if you can tell us, there were just recent elections in Tunisia, uh, just a couple of days ago and yesterday. What is your opinion of what's going on there in another Arab um, Spring country? I think you 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 uh, must have followed uh, that Egypt has congratulated uh, Tunisia on their democratic uh, choice. Um, what is uh, really uh, very significant? is that, for example, compared to Libya. Libya, uh, the, 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 the political uh, parties uh, and powers that were not ideological won. And uh, the others who are now out of legitimacy say that uh, this is not uh, the trend, that it has to be ideological, uh, uh, political isla Islam is, uh, you know, the solution and all of this. But it's been proven, you know, one country after the other that uh, the the you know uh, the it is the elections which really uh, define who uh, you know goes to 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 to, uh, to govern and uh, in this case uh, in in Libya it has been proven now in Tunisia it has been proven so um, you know we have to 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 put ideology. 
aside and see what really works for our country. And uh, in this case, the, the people spoke and the people chose. And we uh, support and salute the, the choice of the Tunisian people, whatever it is, uh, either way. But in this case, uh, it, it, it sort of confirmed the trend. Can we see the elections in Tunisia as one final blow for the Islamic political movement in the Arab region or not? I think it's an ongoing process. We have to. It's a, it's a, it's a very comprehensive effort. We we have a lot to do in our countries on the social side, on the uh, on the economic side. Uh, on, you know, there are so many things that we have to achieve for ourselves. Uh, education. Uh, you know, in, in all of our countries, uh, needs uh, and I think this is a priority now in Egypt and I'm sure in, in Tunisia and Libya. And so there are many things that uh, this is a multiple effort, multifaceted effort that we have to, to do in order to lay the ground for, for our uh, uh, progress in the future. Yeah. But can we have... Um, the same measures that we have taken here in Egypt to be undertaken in other Arab countries such as Tunisia, such as Libya, to be like declaring the Brotherhood organization as a terrorist organization, not to be taking part in the elections, not to be taking part in the parliamentary elections, neither the presidential elections as well, or, or do we have to wait and see the outcome of the, if those elections or not? You know, in Egypt this has, has gone the way of uh, uh, the, 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 we have a separation of powers. So it's the judicial uh, uh, arm of the, of this equation that has taken this decision, and uh, you know the executive branch has nothing to to do with it. So uh, each country has uh, has its own, uh, of course, uh, way of doing things. In our way, separation of powers is the essence of the democracy, and uh, when the judicial uh, uh, branch uh, mm -hmm. takes these decisions and the court decides on cer certain things on their merits. Then we, uh, then we obey. But can other countries take such a decision regarding what the brother organization uh, had done here in Egypt or in Libya or in Syria, such as uh, Tunisia? Maybe uh, can the Tunisian judiciary say that the or declare the terrorist organization uh, or the brotherhood organization in Tunisia as a terrorist organization regarding what they had done here in Egypt or not? Well, I prefer to leave that to the Tunisians to, 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 to pronounce themselves on. Yes. Well, um, we'd like to thank you very much, um, Ambassador Hatem Kishan, also for joining us, the Assistant Foreign Minister for Foreign Affairs. Thank you so much for the, the nice interview and the knowledge that you've actually uh, shared with us and our viewers on Nile Cruz on Nile TV. I enjoyed that very thank much. Very and much. And thank you <laughs> so much for inviting thank me. Thank you and very much. And thank you for your time. Uh, setting <laughs> and uh, thank, thank you, you so and much, good Mr. Luck with your program. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Ambassador. Now we'll be moving on uh, to uh, a break. So uh, do stay with us and uh, we'll, uh, we'll be uh, joining We'll be watching a, a report about breast cancer with exactly. our it's colleague Noor right Hussain. Okay. So let's see it. A walk for breast cancer, a fatal disease that takes many lives all over the world. Along with the World Breast Cancer Foundation, a walk was organized in Cairo supporting all breast cancer patients and spreading awareness all over the world and Egypt. Well, I'm very delighted to be here today. I was very uh, thrilled and happy to receive such uh, a phone call from uh, Miral and uh, Tamer Hagras to tell me about this event or this walk. Um, it's very important to raise awareness um, for such a cause, breast cancer. It's very important to um, do our <laughs> regular checkups. Our um, it's always better to know about things 